Welcome to Comics with Dan. This is the Comics Commute number 29. Uh, I've got a different angle here. And I'm in a different vehicle. I'm driving the van today because I do not, my car's still not fixed. Uh, it's drivable, I just, I don't think it's very safe to drive without one of my side mirrors, but they're gonna be fixing it uh, on Monday, so I should have it for the big milestone episode of Comics Commute number 30. Now, I only had two pulls last week. I had uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Night Watcher number one, uh, and I had Transformers number 11, and they were both pretty good. Uh, nothing, nothing mind-blowing, um, but, but good overall, and, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed them, and then I also got to read, uh, Three Jokers by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabic, which was really good. Uh, I know that people have some issues with it, but, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it, even as a fan of, um, Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon being together. Um, which I'll talk about that and how why that matters in a minute. Um, so I read that. I read uh, Defenders of the Earth from Mad Cave, uh, the the newer the new one. Um, I'll talk about that. And then I also read uh, in in the name of Gog. It's a, a Ch another Chuck Austin uh, action comics run or uh, arc. So. I'll, uh, I'll touch on that a little bit as well. Now, as for what's coming next week, I am pulling Nightwing and uh, World's Finest, but uh, due to budget constraints, because I purchased new microphones, uh, I will be waiting to pick those up until next week. So I'll, <laughs> I'll give you the heads up that I'm picking, that, I'm, that those, that's what I'm pulling, but I will likely not be reading them until the following week. Also, uh, as I've alluded to before, I am, this isn't my real commute, I'm going to get coffee, uh, but I will be on a real commute next week, so not to, not to worry, if the, the commute part is the part of these videos that you enjoy, then you'll be in good hands next week. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Night Watcher, number one, uh, it was pretty good, um, I mean, it was very Batman-esque. Uh, it was a lot of building up the urban legend that is the Night Watcher. Um, you know, j just to keep... Uh, I, I, I will have a spoiler in here, so if you don't want any spoilers for Night Watcher, then, you know, fast forward through this. Um, I'll put timestamps in, in the description so that you can just skip to the next section. But it was fairly predictable that Jenica was Night Watcher. Uh, mostly because she was the only unaccounted for turtle. So, um, I mean, it, it is what it is. It, it's, the, the thing is, is that I am generally pretty bad at predicting things like that. And so if I was able to predict it, then everyone was probably able to predict it. So, I mean, that, that part was, I, I don't want to say disappointing, but it might be disappointing for some of you. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I really liked the book. I mean, it was it was really well written. Um, Juni Ba did a great job of you know building up the the urban legend, the myth of the Night Watcher. Um, I, I liked the premise of it. That being said, um, again, due to budget constraints, uh, I'm having to cut some books from my from my pull list. So I actually took this and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles off. Um, I mean, they're they're not bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't check them out. It's just that they, they didn't wow me enough to, to keep them on my list. And every time I looked at my list to see what should I, what should I keep? What should I get rid of? Um, what should I add? Stuff like that. I would always see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Night Watcher and just be like, oh, well, like, why do I have that on my list? Um, so, it, it is what it is. It's, um, 
you know, it, it's Night Watcher was was decent. Uh, if if you want a good book, I mean, I I think that there's plenty of people that will enjoy this, and and I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it just it didn't make the cut at the end of the day for for the pull list. So, I read Transformers number eleven, which you know I I've been loving Transformers from Daniel Warren Johnson. Um, it's been it, it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't quite as intense or, you know, high action as some of the, uh, some of the other issues. I mean, we, we get a, a good bit of action at the very end, but, uh, you know, overall it's, it's a lot of setup for what I think is going to be the, the final issue of the arc, uh, next month with issue number 12. So that kind of makes sense. And I, if I recall correctly, I think that I think that in the first arc, they, uh, the the creative team, sort of had an issue like this for issue number five. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure that there was there was something like that where it was like you know okay we've been you know suplexing and and body slamming, but now we need to get some of this narrative in there. So <laughs> let's get the narrative in there so we can go back to wrestling moves in the final issue. So. It was still a good issue, and absolutely no way at risk of falling off my pull list. I also read Three Jokers, which Jason Fabic's art. I mean, like I think that Jim Lee is probably my favorite Batman artist, but Jason Fabic has to be a close second because that book is gorgeous. I mean, and and that's consistent with Jeff Johns' books uh, is that he has these just stellar artists to work with. Um, but I, I thought it was a good story. I mean, I, I liked it a lot. I liked the idea. Um, I, I can see some people being upset at the idea of, you know, not knowing if who the original Joker is or the fact that there is more than one. I mean, I, I get like, people don't like change, <laughs> but I thought, I think that's a brilliant choice for for the Joker in particular because he, he's his identity I mean and they they touch on this the whole time and, and in fact it's the last page of the book it says who the Joker was was never important not only does it add to the you know who is the Joker mythos but you you also have you know an explanation for I mean the Joker could be a character for all of time now I mean he was going to be anyway right but this is an explanation is that well, he doesn't have an identity, you know, he doesn't have a, 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 a name other than the Joker. So who knows if the one that they're facing is the, the current one or not. It's, I think, the, the idea that the original Joker trying to make new Jokers or, you know, it, it doesn't really reveal whether or not that's what actually happens or, or who the original one is, you know. Is the one at the end, the one that's alive at the end, is that the real Joker? Or is he carrying it on from the original one? Um, you know, it's hard to say. But I know uh, a big issue that people have with this book is the whole Jason Todd and Barbara Gordon linking up thing, which which Babs is having none of that. I mean, she was, she was a part of it, right? But... Jason, you know, saying that he would give up being Red Hood to be with Barbara, and then his note getting, you know, brushed away, I think is, I think is just great. I think that that's, I think that's such an awesome idea. And, and honestly, people that, people that love, you know, Dick and Starfire to be together should be all for this because I think that that's a good match because linking them together through their their trauma is is just such a good idea um honestly like uh, now that I'm talking about I gave it four and a half out of five stars on League Comic Geeks but honestly I, I might bump it up to five now that I'm talking about it I mean at first I only gave it four and a half because like the three Joker thing at first was like, okay, yeah, three different Jokers, like, I, I'm not a fan. But 
the more I think about it, the more I talk about it, the more I like the idea. Um, I think it's, I think it's a great, a great story. I think I'm going to try to read Matt Rosenberg's, um, Joker, the man who stopped laughing now. Cause I think that that plays into three jokers in one way or another. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments if that's, if that's true or not. But, um, so yeah, no, three jokers was really good. I, I liked it a lot. I read defenders of the earth. Uh, number one, uh, I don't have a ton to say about that. Um, I didn't care for it. Uh, I don't feel like, like, I, I don't have a lot of experience with these characters from, to begin with, but I just, I don't feel like this captured the, the pulp feel of these characters that, that makes them so charming. Um, I mean, it, it was a little bit of a drag and, um, at first I was worried that it like, well, this is going to tie into Flash Gordon too much. and I'm going to have to read it to know what's happening in Flash Gordon. Well, that's not the case at all. Um, the, it, it takes place, I think, well after the events of Flash Gordon. So, I I don't know. I, I'll still read the rest of the series um, so that I can talk to you guys about it. But I, it's not one that I... Uh, am like clamoring to read the rest of. I also read In the Name of Gog, uh, which is, a, you know, another Chuck Austin uh, action comics arc. Um, this one, this one was marginally better than Wrath of Gog. Uh, it, it had kind of a cool twist in that, you know, all the, the villains that were leading up to the end of the arc it was all set in motion by Gog but at the same time all I was thinking the whole time was well like this is called the in the name of Gog but he hasn't been in this entire thing like what's happening um but yeah I, I mean I'm excited to be out of <laughs> the, I'm glad to be out of the Chuck Austin era of action comics now and I'm excited to check out uh, Gail Simone's first, her first, uh, take on action comics, not, not the current one, but the one she did back in the, in the two thousands. So that one's coming up next. Uh, I don't recall what the name of that, uh, story arc is, uh, but that's the next one that I'll be grabbing. And, uh, and so I'll definitely be talking about that one as well. But yeah, the, the Chuck Austin, uh, action comics, it just was, it was not for me. And like I said, uh, I will not be picking up my pools this week. I'll be doing double pools next week. Um, but I'll be reading plenty between now and next Comics Commute. So not to worry. Uh, there will be plenty to talk about. Uh, but that's all I had. So make sure you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe. Check out my other videos here. And thank you for watching.